already came to Montreux. It was during the Montreux Rock Festival yeah. in 1986. Yes. Do you remember? I do remember. Um, because um, that's the first time I saw Terence Trent Darby. He was there as well. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I remember it well. We were kind of in the middle of our first success. And, and we came here and we had a wonderful time. We got to go skiing on a ski slope that was actually closed for the season, but was opened for um, three Norwegians who wanted to get there. First of all, the pandemic made it impossible to travel anywhere, so you, we were kind of thinking what to do when all the touring was cancelled and people couldn't travel. So we thought it might be nice to, to send a sort of a musical letter from our home. The northern part of Norway is, you know, incredible in terms of nature and people, and um, it's a part of the country that, that I've sort of come to love more and more as I've, I've grown older. So I, it was chosen as a kind of a backdrop for uh, and new songs and new music and kind of a, an, homage, an homage or tribute to, to uh, the country that shaped us as, as musicians and artists. And at the same time, looking at where we are today and the, th the threat, existential threat of climate change and then, you know, uh, people, half the album was done in LA because that's where Paul lives. Half the album was done in Norway. So it's very different than, <clears throat> than it used to be. In the 80s, we lived together, we recorded together, we ate together, <laughs> didn't sleep together. Well, kind of in the same room. But, um, but you know, we are in a different situation now. We're. Um, still trying to make beautiful music uh, as best we can but in very separate uh, situations so um, that has changed but i think the ambition for everyone is just to leave something of beauty behind and and that hasn't changed paul and i had various bands as we we started as children you know we were like i think i was 12 or 13 when we started playing together and in the beginning, I was the singer and I played guitar. Paul was the drummer. Then he started playing guitar. So we had a period where there was two guitarists and, and then he started to sing and then I started to play keyboard. I don't think we ever really had ambitions to be musicians with a special instrument. We, we, want, we had songs that we were writing. We had idols and, and people who inspired us growing up that we were emulating at the time. This song has taken on its own life and, and reached generations of, of different generations of people. So, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't play it at my parties, but, um, <laughs> but maybe my parties are more boring than yours, you know? <laughs> um, but of course, we're, we're proud to have had an opportunity to do what we love for 40 years and, and that song has played uh, a crucial role in, in our career. We've released, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 albums over the years and um, every song that you write feels like you're putting a, a child into the world and you want that child to grow up to be um, happy and harmonious and successful and so Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes you feel a bit sad for the songs that didn't get as much attention, but you're obviously very proud of, of um, the fact that it has communicated to so many people for so many years. Mm -hmm.